The Richmond County Board of Commissioners on Tuesday approved the budget for the upcoming fiscal year despite a nay from the vice chairman. Commissioner Justin Dawkins was the only one to vote against the $55.6 million budget after it was presented by County Manager Brian Lynn. While the budget doesn't raise property taxes this year, it does raise service rates and provide a cost of living adjustment for full-time employees and an increase in teacher supplements. Land said the county has made great strides over the past several years, improving its overall financial picture, including increasing the available fund balance from 11.82% to 19.46%. The county's debt burden has been slashed by $12 million, although it still owes $20 million on the Judicial Center and $25 million in school bonds. Land went on to say the county has been moving away from the general fund's dependence on transfers from the Solid Waste Department. The first step, he said, was increasing the ad valorem tax rate in 2018, which will remain this year at $83. $0.03 cents per $100 of valuation, one of the highest county rates in the state. The second step land added was reallocation of expenses from the general fund to the water and solid waste funds based on the county's annual cost allocation plan developed by MGT Consulting. The third step was last year's controversial change in the sales tax distribution method that land said will increase the county's share of sales taxes. He added that the lingering effects from the COVID-19 pandemic, which seems to be improving, have impacted every area of county government. Although there is a sense of optimism with the availability of vaccines, Land said economists predict the economy will be affected for the foreseeable future. Dawkins said that the budget did nothing to set aside a reserve for crucial upcoming capital needs, nor did it allow for either direct budgeting of reserves for the fund balance or provide room for municipal initiatives that could benefit all county taxpayers. Police are again turning to social media to help identify a person of interest. On Wednesday, the Rockingham Police Department posted to its Facebook page photos of a young woman who may have information that could be helpful in an ongoing investigation. Anyone who recognizes her is encouraged to call Detective Captain George Gillenwater at 910-895-2468 or send the department a message through Facebook. Speckled Paul Coffee will open its Richmond County location on Friday. The new shop, one of three Speckled Pauls owned by Kyle and Myra Poplin, is located in Ink Space, a business incubator in downtown Rockingham on South Lawrence Street. The Poplins pr pride themselves on offering not just custom coffee and delicious treats, but also a community gathering place where people can relax, share, and learn. The Poplins feel lucky they found Ink Space because of its location within eyesight of Discovery Place Kids Rockingham and Richmond Community College's Leon Levine School of Business and Information Technology, and because of downtown Rockingham's amazing possibilities. For the first week or so, the Paul Rock will open from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. weekdays and 8 a.m. to noon on Saturdays. Once the shop develops a rhythm, John Marsh says the hours will be adjusted accordingly. And stay tuned for a variety of after-hours special events as part of the grand opening festivities. A flurry of players contributed to a five-run six-inning Tuesday, which helped the Richmond Raider baseball team take the opening game of its two-game set against Butler. Playing its only non-conference series this spring, Richmond held off a late push from the Bulldogs to earn an 11-9 win. Jude Howard took over the game with two outs in the top of the six and earned his first varsity win following the outpouring of run support in the home half. Cameron Way shut the door with a bases-loaded strikeout against Matt Kinney to end the game, crediting him with the save. Head coach Rob Ransom used four pitchers in the win, starting with Will Dawkins, who threw two innings, gave up four runs on three hits, and had two strikeouts. Richmond improved the five and six on the season and will travel to Butler on Thursday. First pitch is set for 6 p.m. A breakout senior season on the soccer field resulted in Jayla McDougald wanting to continue her playing career at the collegiate level. That dream came true this week for the soon-to-be Richmond senior graduate who announced her verbal commitment to Shaw. McDougal became the most recent Richmond student athlete to weather the storm of the pandemic and get recruited to a college program. 
McDougal will join a Bears team that played a shortened spring season in 2021 after not playing in the fall due to COVID-19. Shaw went 2-4-1 and, and will return with a 21-game schedule this fall. McDougal plans to major in mass communications with a focus in broadcasting or public relations. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. She gets her soccer skills from her mom, her sense of humor from her dad, and her drugs from her home medicine cabinet. Over half of misused medication comes from family and friends. Talk to your children about the dangers of prescription drug misuse. Secure your medication, take regular inventory to ensure nothing is missing, and properly dispose of expired or unused medication. Be aware. Don't share. Lock your meds. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. Your Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Sunset Slush, Classic Italian Ice, located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Not quite as much rain as we've uh, expected to see today. It was about a 50% chance throughout the entire day. Had a little bit of pouring out uh, earlier this afternoon. I was kind of not I had a whole lot uh, later into the day. And as we look into the evening, we're not going to be seeing a whole lot of rain either for that time frame at 6 o'clock. 77 degrees with cloudy skies. That carries on to 10 o'clock with 68 degrees. We'll have a sunset at 828 p.m. with a waiting give us moon phase out tonight as well. The rain threat is still going on and uh, that's very hopeful for many parts of the Sand Hills region uh, as we continue to see more rain coming in. That's very helpful uh, for all these dry conditions that we have seen, um, especially for those up there uh, in Ellerby uh, and the uh, northern part of the county where you're going to be uh, hoping to see a lot more rain due to all the, the farming that's happening out there. Uh, but looking at tomorrow, thunderstorms across the entire Sand Hills region. Fayetteville, a high of 78 with a low of 67. Rayford, a high of 77 and a low of 66. Uh, Lumberton, a high of 79 and a low of 68. With Warmberg Singh, a high of 77 and a low of 67. Up in Southern Pines, a high of 76 and a low of 64. Ellerby, a high of 76 and a low of 65. Rockingham and Hamlet will be seeing a high of 82 and a low of 65 with uh, Bennettsville seeing a high of 78 and a low of 67, and across the PD and Waysboro, a high of 76 and a low of 66. Now, looking at the seven-day forecast, uh, again, that 30%, excuse me, that 60% chance uh, will be continuing on tomorrow. Uh, it's going to increase to an 80% chance in the evening, and then we'll see it drop down to about a 70 to 60% chance on Friday with a high of 82 and a low of 65, followed by Saturday with a just a 4% chance, high of 84 and a low of 67. 
and temperatures, or excuse me, chances will continue to drop down a little bit more on Sunday with a 30% chance, a high of 86 and a low of 68. But it does go back up just a little bit on Monday with a 4% chance, high of 87 and a low of 68. And then Tuesday, just a 4% chance in the afternoon, high of 86 and a low of 66. And continuing on with the mid 80 degree weather for Wednesday, a high of 85 and a low of 65. But that day will be staying partly cloudy sky. So plenty of rain along the way. There's many, many more chances for it to pop up to get a good uh, uh, wet ground going on uh, for the area. Hopefully not too much to where it, it causes uh, minor flooding or something like that. But uh, luckily rain's coming in. Very, very helpful for farmers especially uh, and just to cool things off in general. Uh, but uh, definitely stay tuned because we're probably not gonna be seeing uh, the 80s being, or excuse me, the 90s being gone for very much longer. Uh, enjoy that 80 degree weather while you can, uh, and enjoy the rain of course while you can as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for Live 5 Weather Report and for tonight's edition of Live 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.